So we had something kind of funny happen in the last two weeks here. Um, I got a call about two weeks ago from one of my neighbors and she asked me, do you have a peacock? And I said, no, I don't have a peacock. And she said, well, there is a peacock in my front yard. And I'm like, oh my gosh, whose peacock is loose? Um, I don't even know, you know, I live out in the country and there are houses near me. We're in a, you know, residential kind of area, but I don't even know anybody near me that has chickens, much less peacocks. And I mean, they're a pretty noticeable bird. They're large, they're very beautiful. So if someone around me had them, I would notice. So I don't know whose peacock it was. But then um, I guess it moved on. And then a few days later, I had a voicemail. And this lady, it was one of my neighbors whom I've never met. And she just said... Um, your peacock has been in my yard for several days and he's causing all kinds of problems. So I need you to come get him and call me back, please. So I called her back and I was like, first of all, lady, it's not my peacock. And second of all, um, I will come and get him because they really aren't animals that can be left on their own. And if he's wandering, uh, he obviously doesn't know where home is. And... He needs to be picked up and taken care of. And at this point, we still didn't know whose it was. Um, and then, you know, my daughter and I took a few walks, you know, through the tree farm near us just to look for this peacock to see if we could find him. And we didn't have any luck. We did find a few of his feathers, but we didn't find him. And then a few nights later, I had someone knocking at my door. And it was another one of my neighbors from down the road that I don't know. And it was similar thing, you know, do you own a peacock? No, I don't. And she said, well, I thought, you know, I'd seen your chickens and I thought maybe because you had them, maybe you had a peacock. Well, he's been, you know, in my yard and I've been feeding him, I don't know, she was feeding him bread and corn or whatever. And I just gave her my phone number and said, you know, if he comes around again, please let me know and I will come get him. Well, then I didn't hear from her and it was a few days later and I had just gotten home um, from church and I was going to take my youngest child somewhere to his friend's house and we walk out the door and lo and behold we have a peacock in our backyard and he was you know right behind me where I am here walking the fence line trying to get in by my chickens because I'm sure that he could see um, the feed in there and he could see chickens and maybe that kind of looked like home to him. Um, we did, I was able to catch him and I put him inside my fence and then um, I notified the first person who had called me, which was my neighbor, my husband's aunt. And she said, well, good, I know who he belongs to. And then I was a little heartbroken because <laughs> I owned a peacock for five hours. He was in my yard and I had named him and um, I was going to keep him if whoever owned him never came. So um, there's a little footage of him next, and um, he was very, very beautiful. Unfortunately, he'd already lost all of his large tail feathers because they lose them in the fall, so he didn't have his big, beautiful tail. But he was still very, very beautiful, and I was happy to have him for a little while. And I'm so glad, you know, they came very quickly to pick him up. And I'm so glad that he's home safe and he's getting the proper food and care that he needs. That's a male. Look who showed up in my yard this morning. It's a boy. I'm at work, which you can probably see from the view behind me. I'm at my little shop that I work in. Um, I am just, I'm really excited today because I opened my YouTube studio to find out that I have 51 subscribers and that you know it's a really tiny number compared to a lot of channels that I watch but for me it's really exciting I when I started this channel it was um, on the advice of my therapist and I was kind of in a dark place and really confused about a lot of different things and this has just been a really good thing for me posting videos here and I'm still you know channels evolving I'm still figuring out what I want to talk about and what works for me um, but I just wanted to say thank you if you are subscribed and if you haven't yet please do um yeah i'm excited 51 subscribers is pretty exciting for me
just my morning flower walk <laughs> that I talked about in a different video. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm going to try to just do, you know, a little midweek vlogging, just a little clip of, you know, a few things that are going on here. It's a busy week at work for me this week, which is great. Um, so not a lot going on at home because I haven't been here. I've been at work. So I'm going to try to do a little midweek vlogging every week instead of the dime tour because, um, yeah, I think you guys have seen enough of that. So, <laughs> um, yeah, have a good rest of your week and I will see you soon.